Now this episode features two composers that will be known to many fans of 2D music. They are ridiculously versatile, composing high-quality music in various music genres, giving unique identities to several groups within the same franchises while keeping things always fresh for each group. It's time to talk about Akira Takizawa and Satoru Kuwabara. Let's kick off this episode of Say You Lounge. <laughs> Welcome to Seo Lounge, I am your host Vanessa and today's topic is 2D music composers and their quirks, Akira Takizawa and Satoru Kuwabara. You heard it well, this is an episode mainly for fans of the Tsuki Pro and Ensemble Stars franchises, as these two composers have basically taken over composition for most of the groups, if not all groups. Still, they have composed music for other projects, so don't go away just yet. There may be some interesting tidbits for you to learn about both and their work so far with 2D music projects. John Zeroness or Akira Takizawa Akira Takizawa is easily one of the most prolific composers for 2D music and by far the reason why the music in the Tsuki Pro franchise is so amazing. For most of you listening to this episode, Takizawa is a well-known name as he is the composer behind Soara, Growth and since 2016, Solids. He is a prolific composer known for creating vivid soundscapes, giving life to unique stories, making voices shine and listeners lose themselves in all of it. He started out his career in 2011 as a vocaloid singer, composer and lyricist. However, before turning his talents to composing and writing music for 2D groups, Takizawa was a composer for game soundtracks. He was credited in the soundtrack for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. He was a composer working at Platinum Games of Bayonetta and Nier Automata fame until 2014 when he decided to focus his talents on the exciting, still fresh world of 2D music. Takizawa would end up joining the team of Vocaloid composers working with the Tsukuta franchise back in 2013 and in 2014 started to be a regular composer for the franchise until he was invited to be the composer for the Tsuki Pro franchise. As a composer for Soara, Takizawa delivers a youthful, energetic and carefree pop rock sound. With growth, he goes the lyrical way and brings the most fantastical instrumentals, borrowing lots of inspiration from Celtic music and mixing those with orchestral and chamber music, creating some of the most unique songs I've ever heard. For growth, given the high degree of technicality of the compositions and the whole fantastical, adventurous concept, the vocals are performed in lyrical style, something that in 2015 was the very first time fans of 2D music got to listen to it. And still to this day, growth and thus Takizawa are pioneers in bringing lyrical music to the spotlight in the 2D music scene. It was only later in 2015 that Takizawa would take over as the composer for Solids. The passionate, sexy and risque group was plagued with a weak, underwhelming debut CD that in nothing made the star-studded lineup nor the group's reputation within the franchise shine. That composer ended up being replaced in 2015, with Takizawa officially taking over and completely changing how Solid sounds, starting from Solid's Volume 2, still in the same year. And the truth is that everything changed about the group. Today, Solid is one of the most exciting 2D groups that embrace a sexy concept, but there's more to them. Solids is also the only group in the Tsuki Pro franchise that continuously changes their sound, exploring the most varied music genres. From rock to EDM, pop, lyrical, jazz, minimalistic electronica, R&B and ballads. 
as the most versatile group in the Tsuki Pro franchise, Solids have the most frequent music genre changes between CDs and even between member solo tracks. And this shows the genius in Takizawa's composition skills, embracing a vibe and concept and making it shine in different ways that always have that core trademark tone and vibe that you can easily attribute to the group in question. For all these groups, Takizawa has composed music non-stop since 2015, managing something that most composers aren't able to achieve – consistent quality. I believe this is one of the trickiest things a composer can tackle in their career – not repeating themselves while still having a unique style that you can easily understand is theirs. In a way, that is actually possible because the Tsuki Pro franchise, contrary to many 2D music franchises, has their characters growing older as the project grows older. This enables Takizawa to adapt the music, evolve the sound and showcase that maturity across almost a decade of frequent releases. But in a way, this is also a result of Takizawa's outstanding skills as a composer. It is really easy to fall into that rabbit hole of doing the same thing over and over again, something that, for example, Elements Garden's Noriyasu Agematsu is well known for. With a unique style that works, why change it? But for Akira Takizawa, constant evolution of his sound and the sounds of the groups he composes for is an important part of how he works. And that is a big reason why most people are surprised when they learn that he composes music for Solids, Sawada and Growth, three completely distinct groups within the same franchise. That is tricky as hell to pull off, but if there is someone that can do it, it is Akira Takizawa. As a composer, Akira Takizawa starts most of his compositions on the piano with that instrument being a driving force in most songs by Sawara, Growth and Solids. But don't be fooled by him writing music primarily on the piano, because he can start from there and basically craft a song in any music genre you could think of. Takizawa's compositions do not have a tell per se, which makes him relatively difficult to notice. But one thing I particularly like about his compositions is how he makes them scream at you. With Takizawa having vast experience as a solo artist, with him being a composer as well as a lyricist, his compositions are primarily thought for the vocals to shine. You will always notice how the piano or the bassline resonate with the vocals, no matter the tempo used in the composition and he perfectly emulates the rises and downs in emotion on the vocals. In a way, his compositions are a perfect guide for a perfect performance. This is not easy to notice and requires you to spend some time listening to his compositions, but as soon as you notice this little trick he adds to his songs to make them easier for Seiyu to follow and pull off exactly what he wants, you won't be able to not notice it. I recommend you to check Liar Crier by Solids, Maho no Kizuna by Growth and Life is Amazing by Sawara to fully understand this tell that Akira Takizawa's compositions have. Now, if you want to go crazy with jazz music and rock, you need to shift your attention back to Satoru Kuwabara. He is a genius composer and the representative director of the Art Refact creative team. He has been active as a music composer, arranger and artist since 2008 and worked with several Seiyu artists and bands such as Gran Rodeo, Yuki Ono, Takuma Terashima, Makoto Furukawa and Sir Vanity. On the topic of working with Makoto Furukawa, Kuwabara has been the sound producer and director for most of Furukawa's CD since his solo debut, making sure that unique jazz sound and Furukawa's vocals are pristine, flamboyant and classy at all times. And since 2020 he is the bassist and composer for Sir Vanity, rock band fronted by Mail Sayu Yoshiki Nakajima and Yuichiru Umehara. 
Satoru Kawabara quickly rose to fame in 2015 and turned into a go-to composer for 2D groups and Seiyu solo artists in 2018 after showing what he could do with his compositions. And in 2016, Satoru Kawabara was appointed the director of Ensemble Stars' music. Since then, all music in the franchise is created according to his view and concepts, with several composers from Art Refact, Hyuki Honda, Kyohei Yamamoto and Atsushi Harada included, as well as composers external to the composition team joining in to turn Kuwabara's ideas into music. Of course, assuming a director role in the music in the Ensemble Stars franchise didn't take him away from the soundboard or even the piano and bass. Kuwabara has been actively composing, arranging and producing music for groups such as Undead, Twink, Knights and Fine since the launch of the Ensemble Stars franchise. It is with these franchises that you notice best how eclectic his compositions are. He can write music in various genres, from rock to pop, EDM, bubblegum pop, jazz, R&B, traditional Japanese, rock and lyrical. But let's not forget that the music genres in which he goes absolutely bonkers are jazz and rock. The syncopated drums, the punchy, insanely groovy bass lines, the guitars that can shred but also stylishly get up to the stage and go all emotional on you. Kuwabara's jazz and rock music has a heart and soul more intense than any other of the music genres he composes music in. The energy his music has is also quite impressive. Regardless of the music genre or even of the tone, his compositions are overflowing with energy. Now, when it comes to having a tell, this is something that genuinely made me stop and think. What is Kuwabara's tell that makes his music easily noticeable? Well, in all honesty, he is not easy to notice. However, if you train yourself to listen to his music, for sure you will understand what I consider his talent and you will instantly find it. Kuwabara has a dual tell that makes his compositions fairly easy to catch, at least for me. His piano is always jazzy, even if you are listening to a rock song that he is composed. And the bass lines are ridiculously intricate. I honestly have never heard songs by other composers for 2D music that have that much punch and oomph to the bass lines as Satoru Kuwabara's compositions have. One thing I do love about Kuwabara's compositions is how complex they can be while sounding ridiculously simple to common ears. The only thing that may stand out as complex is basically the bass line, but truth is, he has layers and layers of instruments to his music to create rich soundscapes that are created to the most ridiculous detail. And when he takes over the reins of the direction of whole CDs or the music in whole franchises, you notice just how consistent he is in tone, making sure that within 2D franchises that each group sounds unique and for Seiyu solo artists that each song and CD has a unique identity but that also fit in the bigger picture. Due to all of these and more, I consider Satoru Kuwabara to be a genius composer and more than understand the decision by the Ensemble Stars franchise to appoint him as their director in the music department. That's way too much talent within one person, which is quite impressive. In this episode you got to check two of the most prolific composers currently in charge of the music direction of the specific 2D music projects they have been working with. Without Akira Takizawa, the Tsukipro franchise maybe wouldn't still be attracting new fans after almost a decade of activity, is I'm basically sure of. 
and without the genius of Satoru Kuwabara, the Ensemble Stars franchise wouldn't be as prolific and the music wouldn't be as exciting as it is. In a way, both Takizawa and Kuwabara are essential to the 2D music franchises they were first hired to compose music for. They showed their versatility, their immense creativity and the ability to make the vocals shine at all times while still presenting amazing compositions with refreshing takes on the unique concepts and style that each group has. That is not easy and, yet again, not many 2D music composers could pull that off. Well, these two composers, as different as they are at their core, share one common thing. They are creative geniuses and that has elevated the music they compose for some of your favorite 2D groups. Now tell me, do you have a favorite song composed by Akira Takizawa or Satoru Kuwabara? If yes, which is it and why? Let me know in the comments on YouTube and remember leave your comments as complex or as simple as they may be and you can be featured on upcoming episodes of Sayu Lounge. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the hand that feeds HQ's weekly mail Sayu and music related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Sayu Lounge about two unique composers. Zach B and Leap. Thank you for listening and I'll see you guys around.